Today on One Up Makeup, in honor of The Hobbit coming out soon, we're gonna do an elf look! Hooray! <laughs> elf stuff! <laughs> what do elves say? You can see it say some I, elvish. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just like saying elvish. Elf. <laughs> So here's the makeup and supplies that we're going to be using for this look. So to start off the elf look, it's very important that your skin looks nice. <laughs> I'm, pass. I'm on fire, you guys. Do I pass? You, you pass. You did a really good job having skin today. Alright, so I'm going to use some primer, also Urban Decay as usual. To start off, I'm going to take the virgin color out of the naked palette, which is a sentence that I just... <laughs> And I'm just gonna sweep that across her entire lid, all the way up to her eyebrow, kind of just mostly to be a light base. You guys, I haven't seen The Hobbit, or read The Hobbit in a really long time. Nobody's seen The Hobbit I haven't seen it. <laughs> well, me neither! I didn't have secret passes. Close your eyes! Okay, then I'm going to take this. It's a, I believe it's called Nude. This is a little sample, but it's a kind of shimmery pigment. I also used it. Or honey boo boo. We got a theme going on in this video today. A lot of naked. So, like elves, man, they're natural. And I'm going to just sweep that right under her brow, like on her brow bone. Because elves are totally shimmery all the time. It's a fact of science and magic. And since I was feeling inspired by wood elves, based on. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm like falling off. It's I got it. I'm fine. Do you need a bigger stool? Shut up, Megan. <laughs> this little pot, it was a Shiseido Hydro Powder, and it's a really nice kind of shimmery light. It's so pretty. I want to make it. Giving me self-esteem problems since 2012. <laughs> and I'm going to use Dark Horse, which is kind of brown, sparkly, awesome color that an elf in the woods would wear. I did some research. I'm going to take this way up because we're going to make her face a little bit angular. So it's going to give it a wing. Like if you imagine that your eye is making a circle this way, like your lash line. And just keep... It's okay. It makes sense if you're looking at it. Hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully. And then bring it this way. Brown and stuff is good for a wood elf. But so is green. This tiny little munchkin is from Yabi. It's club green. And I'm gonna take this bright green, right like the grass in the woods, like an elf thing, and I'm gonna just <laughs> I'm gonna put it right in her crease here. Yeah, we're going to elf town. Yeah, one way ticket to elf town. <laughs> that we never get to come what home. Makeup. <laughs> one way ticket, buddy. <laughs> I hope you like the elves, because your parents don't want you. <laughs> I want to make a really good mom, that's all I'm trying to say. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to take that same gold and bring it around, like so. Then I'm going to take uh, that same, it's the same Shiseido Hydro Powder. Uh, so this one's like an olivey green. So we want to keep the greens and browns going in a forest sort of way. Can you look at that? And I'm going to bring that all the way up and it's going to follow the brown uh, wing that we gave her earlier. <laughs> so that same dark brown is going to come in with, maybe this brush is going to be too thick. We'll find out. And I'm going to go into the inner corner of her eye and also pull that down a little bit and pull it across so it's not just coming out of nowhere. Did you want your face to look the same on both sides, or? Yes, please. Is that okay? Well, too late. <laughs> now I'm going to take some orange. It's sort of like an orangey red. It's MAC Red Brick color. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and get a little bit right on the tip. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right in this little triangle that the green and brown created here. Because I like doing at least I don't know, 12 colors per makeup look. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange as well and bring it in here. Make another little color in this point because of how I talk about liking colors. It's true, I do. I'm gonna take this brown and bring it around here because it was looking a little bit detached and lonely. I think it would be so much easier if you only had one eye. Have you ever considered that? 
elves have silly eyebrows. Oh good. It's a science magic fact. And I'm gonna follow her eyebrow because I didn't wanna I didn't wanna get rid of her eyebrow and then like draw in completely fake ones. But I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna kind of flick it out at the bottom. She has a little bit of a Wiki yabby eyebrow. The only other word I could think of was dancing eyebrow, and I don't think either of those are really correct. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a little flat angle brush, some carbon, like Mac, and tap it off, because her eyebrows aren't very dark, but they're not quite as sort of auburn -y as this. She's allowed to have kind of dark eyebrows. Elves. Elves might have that. <laughs> I can't say that they don't. Okay, so now I'm going to take this black gel liner from MAC called Black Jack. And a little skinny, it's actually a paintbrush, but <laughs> I like this brush because it's really thin and the, uh, since it's a gel liner, not a liquid, you can really get in close to the lash line without making a super thick line. And then to really just define that little uh, point up here, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit I'm gonna darken up this brown. I'm gonna take some mascara, as long as you don't mind me using your, my own mascara on you. You're so tall. I just see my tiptoes. Here we go. Thank you. This is a little demeaning. Now, every time I use mascara, I want to call it maskies, and then I hate myself a little bit. <laughs> I think her eyes are done. <laughs> so now, for some contouring to make her all elfin and angular, I'm gonna use the Coastal Sense Contour Blush Palette. I know what you're thinking. That's exactly the color of Christina's skin. How's it gonna <laughs> contour her? Just wait. I'm gonna go right under her cheekbone. And it's okay if it's a little bit dark like this, um, cause it's gonna get blended and I'd rather have to blend some away than keep adding. I don't know, I'm lazy. It's not really the moral of the story. Oh, no. This is gonna come right down all the way from her eyebrow, actually, just kind of a true blended look. And I'm gonna take the white, <gasps> flipping all the way white here, and go right over the top of that. There's some sound effects. Cha, 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 and blend all this together. And then I'm actually gonna go back to that palette and grab this sort of. I don't know, peachy pink, but a little bit of actual just blush. Because I just put white on your cheeks. Mm -hmm. And as a final, final little bit of elfin goodness, it's called loose eye dust in opal. <laughs> and run it all over her face, a little bit down here, a little over here. Last but not least, I'm gonna take some Kat Von D lipstick in. The tiniest writing, forever and never. Whoa, Kat Von D. Whoa. Just gonna pop that right on. <laughs> Got a lot of sound effects in this one. Beautiful. Wood elf. Yay! Yay! Oh, so we're gonna go put elf ears on her. That's what we're gonna do. I'll see you in one second, your time. So to complete the look. We threw on some elf ears. Molly had a really cool necklace that her friend made and we thought it would make a really good, is that a diadem? diadem? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Maybe. that's correct because we said it in unison. This is hobbit hair, this is elf hair. That's an important distinction. Thank you guys for watching our video today. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and be sure and let us know in the comments if there's some event or something that you want to see us do a look for coming up or anything you'd like to see us do. Bye guys, thanks for watching.